What's up, everyone? We are back with another after show of Love & Hip Hop Miami season three, episode two, entitled On The Record. Y'all, true colors are being revealed by Nikki Natural. Oh my gosh, she was a mess this episode. Amara, she's still trying to figure out this Julian thing. Like, is he a cricket manager? What is going on? And then the Puerto Rican princess, she's ready to shut Miami down, okay? Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, we'll be back. Y'all, we are yeah, back yeah. with another Love & Hip Hop Ooh. after show. What's up? Hello, I am hello, your host, hello. Tyra Prude, and I am here with my lovely co-host. We have a full panel, guys, and I am yeah. so excited. Finally, the energy finally. is crazy in here. So to the left of me, I have Alfie. They yeah, kind of represent her. I'll okay, I'm like, it. I don't know what that is. But I'm at <laughs> Yeah, 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 my people know. Yes, and then we have a new um, person on our <laughs> panel, <laughs> Jaraz Lynn. Hey, everybody. I was in New York last week, but I'm here now. I'm yes, back. we're so okay. happy that you are here. Thank you. Yeah. Family. Okay, first of all, we have a jam-packed show for you guys today. So we're going to yes. be getting into Jocelyn and her return to Miami. Yes. We're going to be talking about this all-girl tour, the chaos in this whole audition process. And then, of course, we have to talk about this shady Julian. I mean, is he crooked? What's going on? It's too many sides to the story Let's and then of it. course we have our news and gossip and we have a special segment the name's still in the works but right now we're going to call it the baddest thanks to our girl trita so um without further ado let's get into some overall thoughts okay. what did you guys feel about this episode <clears throat> you want to go first <laughs> i like ladies first okay I'm a gentleman you know i thought saying. nikki was doing way too much oh for sure the, it was just a too much episode like nikki was doing too much briscoe's veneers was doing too much <laughs> It was just a lot of just too much. You know what I'm saying? Too much. What do you think? <laughs> I I do agree with the Nikki part. Uh, this was a good episode of reflection of importance of relationship, mm. importance of uh, branding. Uh, I thought this was a, a great episode for those who have lost time with important people type experience. I thought there was a lot of great values in this one. And when we get into it, we chop that up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just a lot, a lot, a lot of substance. I, that's why I love right. hip hop Miami. You know right. No, right. I feel you. I mean, it was a lot. And um, going like piggybacking off of what you said, it's a lot about values just for like for your career wise. We mm -hmm. saw Jocelyn kind of mm -hmm. breaking down how she's ready to just get back on track yeah. after her young, wild days. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. see um, Arara. She's just trying to figure out like my career is important to me. What steps do I need to take? And oh. then we see Nikki Natural, who's just new and she just yeah. doesn't know how to respect the people who come yeah. before her Hello. she doesn't understand to me in my opinion she doesn't understand like mentorship all of right. that it's just right. my way or the highway right. so we got a lot of that um so that's let's something just, good that we yeah could, we could we should revisit for sure yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe we can sprinkle that into a special yeah. segment or something yeah. Yeah. Okay. i like that um all right so let's go ahead and get into our first topic so i want to talk about jocelyn first yeah so jocelyn is back as we know we know we've seen her on um the other um part of the franchise, all the Atlanta them. episodes, <laughs> all of all of the craziness. Mm -hmm. And I really liked this episode because yeah. you can just see the growth in Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Like, we knew her as, you know, you ain't... I, I'll take your man, Jocelyn. Goodness, I'll fight you, that. Jocelyn. All mm -hmm. of this. And to see her reflect on her life this episode yes. and, you know, know that when she moved to Atlanta, she was on some wild stuff. Mm -hmm. And she admits it. Mm -hmm. But her daughter has, you know, made her a new person. It was just right. beautiful to see. It was like mm -hmm. the, I don't know, unveiling of the new Jocelyn to come. Just so her how did, growth. Yeah, her growth. It, it was nice to see. Um, it definitely seems that she's in a better place being back home in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, I really do just, you know, just from that first episode you feel the love between her and her man um dj ballistic yes um and just the way he even supports her like the way he said like she's a good mother you know and the way she even you know she'll throw a little shade because this is jocelyn she has a lot of <laughs> jokes and just sarcasm but you can still see the love and respect that her and stevie have for each other despite mm -hmm. everything so it's really nice to see how they were able to turn it around because the way it ended on uh alana was crazy bananas crazy you know so i'm happy she's back in miami in her element and just focusing on being a mom in her career. Yeah, I love it too. What about okay, you? Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna say <laughs> I think this was a great move for her. I feel like um a rebranding was necessary. Mm -hmm. I feel like um in a sense of where she was projected to go, 
she totally allowed herself an opportunity to have another direction. I really like her guy that's with her. I think uh, DJ Ballistic for that type of energy of woman mm-hmm. needs mm-hmm. more of the... It's, it's weird because I feel like when it comes to relationships and it comes to just bonding, uh, energies matter. And yeah. if you're the firecracker, the last thing you need is another firecracker mm, with yeah. you. And yeah. I think that's what her and Stevie J had. I feel like, yeah. um, yeah, that although, was just a mess. <laughs> although with what she said, she was respectful. But I feel like it was genuine with the appreciation of what that relationship gave to her. Mm-hmm. It built her a platform. I think going into the love and hip hop earlier uh, series allowed for a growth with the later development of what they're producing now, which gives into that ratchet moment where it was so crazy and it was like, yeah. maybe this is all the show's about. It's, it's, it's yeah. not about, you know, music. It's not about, you know, growth as, you know, entrepreneurs and in a creative mindset industry mm-hmm. type thing. It might be just about these fights and she was winning. She was yeah. winning a lot of fights. She was, it's her gift for gab. I, like, I, I really felt like all that was kind of just, Exp- displayed in that first scene where she kind of talked about it, she touched on things, mm-hmm. but if you really know her, you know where all that mm-hmm. goes yeah. and all those little things goes. But I really like the 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 elevation, the progression, the, and then and she not good even with, with just her, hair. but even with the show and the franchise within itself. Because like you said, it started to become known as just drama. Exactly. So to see that you know the people who were the cause of the drama originally are growing and developing, you could just tell the show is going back in the direction that it was originally intended to be in. To, well, they gonna you bring the people well, that's still, gonna bring the ratchet. Right, they still gonna yeah. bring the ratchet, yeah, yeah. but they gonna bring but the people are, people are growing yeah, in it. It's exactly. a, it's a journey. It's an experience. Oh, yeah. And we're still we're we're just showing the the experience of becoming in this tough industry hip hop you know whatever and, you want to call it and seeing her rebrand it's anybody like if Jocelyn can do it you can do it exactly. you know if she could turn her image around mm-hmm. anybody could turn their image around yes you know what I mean? it's like if you need to go back to it you will because she for sure was. She was going in about prima donna, but uh, <laughs> well, that's because yeah. that's just still still who she is at the yeah, end of the day. If she is. don't like yeah. you, she's gonna throw her little shade. She's mm-hmm. and she's so good at it. You can't. It's hard to compete with somebody like it that because it's like it's like she could be a rapper if she want. Well, she was. I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot about that. She Ooh. is. <laughs> All right. Well, with that being that. said, Ooh, <laughs> you can be anything <laughs> and anywhere you want to be. Watching us on After Buzz TV, um, Alfie. Do you want to let them know how they can stay in tune with us? Oh, all well, of the YouTube, beautiful people. All of that. We really appreciate you uh, just being a part of this. This movement, the After Buzz brand, is why we are the TV show's number one talk TV. Uh, we would love for you to continue to follow us, subscribe, like, give us five stars, you know, do your jazz. We just, <laughs> we learn so much from this experience. Uh, a lot of us become a lot of things. We do a lot yes. of things. We act, we dance, choreography. Uh, you never know where you're going to find some of the people that are part of this brand. So if you want to see the next great thing, this is where we okay. mesh together to get... Look, come on, I'm receiving you know this. Yeah, yeah, me yeah, too. I, I like put that out there. So we love you. Yeah. Love us. <laughs> the love goes back and forth. You know what I mean? It's all good. We just love these shows and we like to talk what we talk. Yeah, yes, it's always like great energy in here. So sure. mm-hmm. show us love. Yeah, show us love. And then, you know, we're going to be live in the chat and all of that. So comment uh, so we can just get this conversation rolling because we mm-hmm. like to know your opinions. And again, thank you guys for making us the ESPN of TV talk. All right. So let's get into this next topic. We got to talk about this all girl tour that Trina is planning. Um, so I, first of all, Trina is a real one. OK, mm-hmm. she has yes. been in the game for years and mm-hmm. you can see that she is still all about just nurturing that next person. It's mm-hmm. not jealousy, nothing. It's just like, how can I put these next people on? Yes. And that's what she's doing with this all girl tour. Yeah. Now, the auditions were bomb. She had some good people. She had, um, who was our girl? Let me get my list Wait, together. Wait, you had missed it, though, because um, I'm not even going to call them the city girls. I'm calling them the town ladies. The town, oh, God. It was, too, <laughs> it was like, honey. But oh. I, I think they just added them to the mix just to so. To sprinkle it <laughs> in. Okay, so we let's talk about the highlighted ones. <laughs> well, I mean, wait, 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 ladies. That's reality. It, yeah. Everything ain't perfect. Right. Yeah. Everybody should take their shot. I'm on. Wait, let me stand up. He like, let me stand up for the old time role lady. I know you talking about. That's just, you know, if you have 
a fire in you. You may want to be a stand up comedian. You right. may want to, you know, be that artist. There's nothing wrong with shooting your shot. And you it's might not easy. always hit. And because you don't hit the first time, don't mean it's right. the last time. I know for a fact from my college, Outcast was booed at Florida A and M University oh, at wow. one point when they were early on. That was a building block. That's this right. is something that can lead into. And Miami folks know FAMU, so you know what I'm talking about. I know FAMU. So in the sense, uh, I can't believe they booed Outcast. People get booed. They you go through things. I don't want to even let that be a thing where that deters people. Okay. I want you to be someone who gets shot, builds themselves up. Please put if you <laughs> feel like you got the juice. I got what he said. I got what he said. I just like the the energy. Energy. Okay, the we needed that moment. Okay, okay. thank Going you on. for that, guys. We are not bashing people who are pushing for their dreams. Yeah. Okay, no. you gotta fail. If you fail, get back on. And that. you Perfect got to be on everything. Love and Hip Hop. So hey, exactly. We yes, oh. you gotta be on. Yeah. Okay, Shout but out to the town unfortunately leaders. during this tour, somebody failed and she was not willing to get back up or take constructive <laughs> criticism to get back up and get back on the spot. So during this, um, you know, little audition, we had um, J Diva, um, yeah. we had Nikki Natural, and mm-hmm. we had Suki um, Hana. Hana. Okay, mm-hmm. so I I'm mean, training a daughter. Um, yeah, that girl. Okay, so she shut it down. She shut she, it down. She shut it down. She had her dancers, the twerking, all of that. Like yes. she earned her spot, honey. Definitely. That she she. She was committed to this. Now, um, during this audition, we kind of saw, I like to say, we saw we saw Nikki for who she truly is, mm. okay? Because last week's episode, we were introduced to her as mm-hmm. um, Trigetti's girlfriend, Christian yes. Sullivan. Oh, I'm the good girl. This is yes. my man. Yes. And then she, like, did a complete 360 and yeah. was just like, who is Trina? Yes. Um, She's 20 years in, whatever. Her I last album cool. was a flop. Like, okay. What just give me your whole spiel on that? How that happened? How Trick Daddy went out on a limb to you know um, get her into the audition just for her to completely disrespect Trina during mm. this opportunity that could have helped put her you on the first. Mat. Me first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a dynamic that happens <laughs> to everyone. It's called Young Thing Thing. <laughs> Old. Guy. We need music for what he talks yeah. like. <laughs> Okay. He about to drop um, some gems or something. Message. This Come is on, message Josh. time. So, uh, in the sense of allowing <laughs> you to know what that was all about, um, you get to a certain age where you could provide certain things for people. And <laughs> like, there's what's certain what's people that see that you could provide certain things. Okay. Uh, in this situation, I feel like there's a like there. There's a mm. genuine like. Clearly, Trick doesn't love, cause <laughs> if he loved, he wouldn't um say joy ain't going nowhere. Mm. He did. So he in the situation of allowing it to be what it is, and it's some old Southern roots, old country, uh, city boy swagger, licious lifestyle. He's keeping his young thing as happy as he can, thus being a gentleman and going out of his way to help her. But at the same time, not denying his true self. At the same time, her seeing him for a trick, daddy. (laughs) Okay, to sum it up, (laughs) she she is. Message. He didn't say one thing about the audition. Nothing. That's all leading Wait, up to that. I get what you were saying, though. <laughs> she, you're talking about the dynamic of their relationship, and it's just like she sees him as the uh, gateway. Opportunity. Right. Opportunity. And cool. that mm-hmm. what led to that moment of she showed her true, true colors. colors. Yes. Of she out here to get the bag, right. and she but girl, you sees could, him you, as a positioning. Exactly, but you're supposed situation. to if that's if that's your mo, you gotta. Fake it a little bit longer. Exactly. Girl, you Her just did the audition. Was off. She had no cooth. <laughs> no you just cooth. did the audition. She turned it into ratchetry. Like, granted, it was already, you know, she was looking you for the baddest. Got the baddest. I mean, yeah. the new baddest. Yeah. You so it, it's already bringing that energy. But for her to go all the way out the rail, tell the DJ to mute mics. Then she's all making a spectacle, trying to grab the mic out of Trina's hand. I could not believe I couldn't. that. And if you got that much talent, why would you be intimidated to go against somebody to prove your spot? Like, exactly. If you got the talent, you got the talent. 
But with you acting like that, it means that you don't got the talent. You're intimidated. Mm-hmm. Well, and, wait, and wait. You, or you're just she not humble. She may have the talent. She just doesn't know she, how to no, go about business. No, she's not humble at all. And, and what cool. you see from her is what you see from a lot of these young artists coming mm-hmm. in, especially for her lack of disrespect for those who came before her mm-hmm. and paved the way, giving you an opportunity. You know, two of Miami's finest even helped her, pave this way for her to be there. Exactly. So it's like for you to just disrespect Trina, a female rapper who was like the first female rapper and out of let's Miami. Let's be clear, Trina does not do wrong by anybody. No. You don't mm-hmm. ever hear about her hear beefing, about no. throwing mm-hmm. shades. She is all about love mm-hmm. and growth. So just for her to give her this opportunity, right. it's just like, come on, girl, like. You got to just, you just got, sometimes you have to just sit back and just take it all in. And that's how you become great, by just being that listener and watching the people who come before you. And like you said, if it wasn't for Trina, this whole little path that you're trying to take, you wouldn't know. I mean, she's the baddest. She let she set okay. the platform along with Little Kim and all of these other people. So she's doing too much. Too but like much. I said, too much. Too she's doing much. way too much. I was, um, I was very triggered by this. I would I was be triggered. Too. I, I would be too. <laughs> triggered. Yeah. triggered. Because, girl, okay, we all out here got dreams and stuff, and never would I ever, you know, disrespect someone who came before me who can give me the gems, okay? okay? Yeah. And it, you I don't want it that bad then. It's all boss moves. If, you, if you're going to go about a situation or you get this opportunity, you know what you're dealing with when it comes to love and hip-hop. The last thing you want to do is seem like you're somewhat disrespectful. This is a platform. It's not like a... a, a a fly in your life situation. Mm-hmm. So, in the sense of how she's acting, is totally ridiculous. It is, okay. girl. We gonna we gonna we gonna say a prayer for you yeah. because are we? Are we? <laughs> what would Jesus do? WWJD. All right, okay. All right, all we are right. going to make sure that we she gets on track. You know, we're gonna hope that she gets on track like Amara. Amara is doing well. Yeah. Okay, yes. so let's go ahead and get into that. She yeah. is dealing with. We're we're calling him Shady Julian today. Uh-huh. She's dealing with her manager. They oh, okay. Are Sorry, they. Okay, he he has his own little thing going. We'll get into that later. Yes. Um. But yeah. So um, if you guys aren't up to yeah. speed, um, Julian was originally um Trina's manager. Whole right. little thing happened with him allegedly stealing three hundred thousand dollars from her. He's the reason why her album, her recent album, is not on the shelves. All of this craziness. He didn't tell her sorry about her mother's passing. It's just yeah. a lot that is going on with him. And Trina is actively in the process of trying to sue him for all that he has done that kind of like tarnished her kind of rebirthing of her career. Um, so in this episode, we see um, Amara actually goes to Trina first. Mm-hmm. She's been hearing all these rumors about Julian and she's just at the point where it's like, I don't care what you got going on, but my career is at stake. So you need to let me know so I can make my next move so my career can continue to flourish. Right. Were you guys surprised that she went to talk to Trina first before she talked to her actual manager? I was. And what what would you do? But I, I would have done the same thing, especially if I'm already having a a, a feeling that something's off with him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go talk to someone who knows him longer than I knew him and had more work experience with okay. him. And I think that's what Amara did. And I think she was right to do that. Okay. Yeah, I was on the same page. It's one of those situations where, like, you already have your connection and that's not what's in jeopardy right now. It's a situation where you're hearing something about somebody. You, I feel like... Going to that person to get a gist of it is what she was doing. It wasn't necessarily to like, oh, someone's talking stuff. I want to get involved in that. No, it's like, okay, someone's talking stuff has been presented to me at my in a serious situation. Uh, nonetheless, you know, knowing who Trina is and you know her weight in Miami, it's worth its weight in just figuring what's going on. So I thought that was more of a. A respect for her being a professional, respect for her respecting mm-hmm. her brand, and being in a situation where I mean, if you want people to, their the weight of their tongue holds the value of your worth in there in any kind of aspect. Mm-hmm. You want to be on the same page on how they rock in the world as well. You mm-hmm. rock in the world because you know you wouldn't. It's like them not wanting to manage anymore because you get into something that they don't like anymore. You know what I'm right. saying? So. Her doing that, I think, was, you know, just being the due diligence. I felt like Trina was more than dope for being somebody who's going through something, not necessarily talking crap, but letting you know what it is Mm -hmm. and being like, this is what I'm about to do. You could choose what you want, stay with them or not, Mm -hmm. but 
I'm going I in. Heard sincerity in her yes. voice. And I was just going to say that it still, it just shows a real A, B, I can't yeah. say it. Right. It just shows who she is. You know what I'm saying? From the you know crib. what I was trying to say? Give a, about like a, a manager. Yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's <laughs> really But no, it was really cool. Like how, like it was just sincerity there. And it just shows who she is as a woman. It's just like, yeah, he, you know, F me over, whatever. I'm going to give you the real and I'm going to let you yes. take it just because I care for you and I care about in a way mm-hmm. your future too so if you choose to take this exactly. information and do with it what mm-hmm. you want cool but this is my experience and, and and she didn't have to sit down with her because she, she could have been like um uh-uh, you mess with julian nah i exactly. don't want to talk to i don't you. want no but she's still you know because she's trying to help her because and this is where i'm saying we we're, we all work in the industry here we mm-hmm. when you work in the industry you know the industry you come across paths and you know powerful people or people who've been in the industry some time and they can show you something and you're like, wow, like, is this what the industry mm-hmm. is about? So when I was listening to Trina talk to Amara, I got that sense of like the sincerity in her voice. Like, oh no, she's been betrayed and yeah. she's not even trying to really bad mouth him. She's just telling you the facts mm-hmm. and the receipts and she, of what and, sh- happened with her. Right. I'm and, not standing on that yet. Just okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but then when, and when, when you look at Julian's energy, when Amara went to confront him and he's like, no, no, I didn't. Yeah, I took 300000 It was just like, it didn't even seem like he was lying. He's telling the truth, but at the same time, there's you're, I don't think be. you're telling all the truth, bruh. And yeah. you just, you seem like somebody. And when and when Trina said the comment, why do you think you're his own, the only person that works with him? That's another red flag. Why it do you is. have one client? Why do you have one? So let's just go ahead and get into that whole confirm, um con- how she confronted him also. Mm-hmm. So she went to talk to him and she kind of gave him the tea. Like, look, all right. I care about my career. I don't know what you got going on, but I talked to Trina and Trina told me this, this, this. So I need you to clear this, this, this. So I need to know if I need to move on. Mm -hmm. And he told her like, what was shocking to me, he told her like, okay, yeah, he got $300,000, but he said it was not Trina's. He said he he earned the money that he had and nobody is getting sued, you know. For what talent? For what work? So how did y'all feel about that? Do y'all think it was sincere? It's my Honestly, turn. it's kind of just Go ahead, like it's your turn. okay. This is okay. okay. This is your argument. Is, Here you go. This is the <laughs> point where this is not a point of I'm on his side. This is a point where it's so important how people view you in this industry. Mm-hmm. It's so important that facts are true before you believe in. Now, I'm not gonna go to the extent of. Um, of Michael Jackson Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and Weinstein and all that stuff. I'm talking just on how people view you if you're a thief or anything. Like, for me, it was telling that he had something to stand on. Anybody who doesn't believe in something is very, like... And that's even maybe not true to a certain extent, but in the sense of they usually don't stand on a ground, Mm -hmm. you know, unless they're a super dope liar, a kind of thing. And my thing is when it comes to business and her situation, I until certain facts fall into place, I don't want to necessarily stamp anybody with they'll steal something, let alone 300 K, but if they even say he had a whole different business, there's different dynamics. Like you, you might be, a star and have a manager who does all this work to build your career and want to do his own thing. He shouldn't be shut down and just all of a sudden be your slave to only make your career happen type thing. He can have multiple uh, clients. And in a situation, I want the a couple of details to fall before is I'm fine. If he's a still, if he mm-hmm. stole it, it's fine. That's not what I'm, I'm even uh, uh, advocating for. It's more on the fact that Trina's famous. She's been in the game forever. She's in a vulnerable situation where her mother died. There's a lot going on. I, I And this may all be for naught, but there might be an innocent man in the same situation where those mm. things go on, or a person, right. not a man, but a person in a situation where things go on where your mother died, you think everything's falling against you. You so just don't you happen think to think your manager... Okay. Which was I a legitimate situation it, uh, where he your, got the money your and you are album so emotional. being pulled from streaming platforms is also a reflection of management. It we is. can't just yes. put that on Trina. that's what I'm giving And him. that was a good album. Mm-hmm. And I don't under... But you I can't was tie 300K like, to that unless it was tied to that. Oh, no, yeah. I'm giving he, you that. I'm not knocking him for being... I think that's a, a actual loss. I think if her album was going through that kind of stuff, that's the management thing she should be talking about. Or if it is attached, we'll find out. But technically, 
It hasn't been. So Thief isn't. Bad manager can be for her. Mm -hmm. And that's mm. legitimately solid right, ground. Right, right, Until it's solid ground, I Woo. don't want to put anything on anybody like Anybody, I wouldn't want anybody putting anything on me. I agree. Okay. We there got kind of deep on Sorry, that. that Y'all, okay. In the comments, <laughs> let's hear. We want to know what you guys have to say. Do you think it's being shady? Do you think it's Trina and her misjudgment? Or, you know. Innocent to prove guilty. That's what I'm and saying. Then we saw kind of in the previews. They're, they're going to address this. Yeah. So, it's, you know. We'll see this. Man. But you guys both had great points. Yeah. I am here for this discussion. <laughs> okay. So that wraps up the episode. Yeah. I, I thought it was really good. Um, I'm. It, it, One more it, thing. What's up? Let's talk about Briscoe. Briscoe. Oh, okay, we can talk about Briscoe and his son. So what's up with that? Briscoe was away in jail. He's back trying to, you know, get his life back together and be the family man that he couldn't be when he mm -hmm. was away. Um, we saw him having his little talk with his son about mm. clearly the son starting to get busy. Mm -hmm. um, that's what happens. That's what happens. He's at that age now. Mm -hmm. um, so what was your feelings on that? Uh, one, great that he cared about his son to try to spend time as soon as he get back. Two, the best thing about that situation is that he acknowledged his faults. Mm -hmm. He wasn't afraid to accept the things that happened, which was his son not being as open to the relationship at first, his son hanging up on him while he's in jail. All that kind of stuff was like, it triggered a lot of things, not personally for me, but in the sense of society-wise and father-son relationships, uh, trying to rebuild when things seem like they're lost, they're never lost. He has made great music before he went in there. And I think this situation and him being able to be somebody who could come back and try to build. And, you know, his son's doing good without him, but his son needs him. And that's yeah, very yeah. important. It was... It like, was I think it was very important and it was beautiful to highlight. Um, they kind of look the same age and act the same yeah, age. Yeah. I want to say that too. It's but just, that's what that does. Yeah, and it just shows the importance yeah. of, you know, um, just being a, a man and, you know, taking up for your responsibility. Yeah. And then, I mean, even as a black man, it was just like, I'm happy that that was shown on TV to show that there are black men who are actually trying to be there for their son. Hello. Um, so we are like running out of time. Um, okay, but let's you get into news and gossip. Yes. Okay. Let's before get into news out. and gossip right. before we get out of here, guys. We didn't got wrapped up. After All right. What's the tea? Give it to us. You know you gotta I hate talk this about tea, it. Cause it's like talk, talk about, about it. Quickly. Wait, really <laughs> quickly. quickly too. All right, so you know, uh Trick Daddy got caught up uh the past weekend. You know, he got caught up with cocaine, he was drunk driving, uh he was asleep at the wheel. Uh the keys of this situation is one, don't do that because not only are you risking your life, you're risking other people's life. But two, uh uh, if you go and get caught up, make sure you got a haircut. Haircut, <laughs> or uh, if you have a receding hairline and you at that age, man, just get rid of it. Okay, but you guys so heard the news. What? He has lupus, right? No, 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 yeah, no. But, but what was that? That wasn't. That don't have nothing get, to do get, with lupus. <laughs> It looks like he's just, already in the shade room comments. And just, it was like, if you're going to go like about that. a rough life, no, just make sure you're on point in case you get caught up. That was up. clearly Clippers. That's, uh, I don't, no, I still a, am confused. No, that was I life. Too. That was life. I, I, because you clearly started the haircut and didn't finish it. That, don't, that wasn't no, a receding haircut. I mean, that wasn't a receipt. It was He's a receipt haircut. It. When you're trying to keep it, was, it, it just look what it is. It was it's a receipt haircut. You saw the, the Beijing or whatever that 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 oh. dark... Oh, it, it looked oh. like he had the look. Yeah, you know was, how when people begin to look you know color to fill in those so spots. He, so he, he had a little patch right there. I get there. it. Yes. And in the sense of let this be a lesson that uh, if you're going to act crazy, just it, it, take care of yourself. Or don't be in a situation. Uh, I don't advocate for anything negative, but do it at your house to where you're safe. Don't risk other people's life. I think that's very important. That's the biggest message of this. Or hmm. you will be looking crazy out here in the streets, and that's your fault. But at the same time, that's my brother, so it's hard to talk about. That's going like to go. That, that mugshot is going down just oh, like James sure. Brown's Thundercat. <sighs> All of them. Uh, Nick Nolte's one. <sighs> Who else got a bad mugshot? They, he, it's going. It, when it's you, going when you start to Google bad I celebrity mugshots, that's so gonna. He snitchy. just looks like he was off of it. All right, um, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, as you can see, we are a talkative panel, and I am so excited to continue this season yeah, with I'm you guys. Excited. Where can we find you guys all on social? Alfred Nolan Thomas too on socials. Holla at your boy. At Jerosalyn Diva, J E R O S L Y N Diva. Yes, and you guys can find me on all social media platforms at underscore Tyra Prude. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.
Mr. Crew. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 